Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Welcome back to my channel. Um, back with the video on Software Defined Radio. And today we're going to learn how you can make a portable spectrum analyzer. And you don't need to have much. All you need is a RTL SDR dongle, just like the one that I'm holding. Uh, you can get one of these guys from AliExpress for less than $10. Uh, this one has the same tuner chip as RTL uh, 2832 or 2823. Uh, but it has a 50 power 0012 chip in it uh, that goes from 50 megahertz all the way up to about a gigahertz or so. Uh, you can also get another tuner chip which is 820 that has a wider range. Uh, but since I got this, so we're going to learn how to actually make a soft uh, spectrum analyzer using this device. So basically spectrum analysis is uh, whatever the uh, signals that my antenna is catching, this RTL SDR dongle will show it in a form of a GUI interface, uh, something that you interact with. The other component that you need, which everyone has nowadays, is actually a mobile phone. And specifically speaking, your Android mobile phone. Uh, so if you have an Android mobile phone, you're good to go. And RTL SDR dongle, you can make a portable spectrum analyzer anywhere. You can carry your dongle with you, and you can just simply plug it in, and then you'll have a spectrum analyzer. Let's say you want to look for signals, uh, within that range, you can do that. The two pieces of software that you need is actually going to be an RF analyzer software, which is this, and RTL SDR driver. These are the only two softwares that you need, um, RF analyzer and RTL SDR driver. That's all you need. Uh, if your phone is USB-C, uh, you, you probably need a USB-C hub as well. Now everyone, every phone should have one nowadays. So just simply take your dongle, Plug it in like this. As soon as you plug in and if you have your driver installed correctly, you will see a message that looks something like this. All right. Just simply press OK. So we're good to go. Now the next step is, now the driver is being read. Just open up your RF Analyzer app, which is this. And boom, here we go. So this is what you would expect to see on your spectrum. Uh, you will see in a spectrum like this, uh, where you can zoom in your spectrum like this. Let me just pick up my phone on my hand, and I'll show you. So you can zoom it in like this. There are some other options as well. All right, uh, you can just play around with your gain values. You can move this around. Uh, the next step that you can do is actually set up frequency. So where do you go and set up your frequency? Go to Hertz, right here, this option. And let's say I want to monitor 2G frequency, uh, somewhere around 2G. So let's say I want to look at 935 megahertz. So it's already set to megahertz. Okay, set it. And here we go. Now I have GSM frequencies that I'm visualizing right now. I can also see a waterfall graph. I can also see spectrum there are a couple of settings that you need to know if you want to if you want to go to settings there are a lot of settings that you can do you can choose a source type like for example right now it has support for both RTL SDR and hack RF I'm gonna leave this as is you can choose your FFT size to be any one of these guys uh, you have an averaging you can set your averaging you can turn off averaging you can set averaging you will have a peak hole value that will hold up your peak. You will have a color map of your spectrum. What is going to be your waterfall and spectrum ratio? You can set all of this. Uh, and uh, if you want to zoom in, you have vertical pinch. If you can see this, these are different options that you have available. Um, you can go back to RF Analyzer. Go in again. Uh, you can set auto scale. You can remove auto scale. You can set gain. So it depends. If you want to have an AGC, it will have an AGC. Set your AGC. So you'll have an AGC. And um, I think it also has an option. Go to settings. And you can look at your, go to advanced settings. You can, if you want to look at relative frequencies, you will see a relative frequency. Go to advanced. Uh, screen orientation, auto. You want to do a landscape. So everything would be in landscape now. So you would visualize it something like this. Here we go. 
So now you have everything in terms of, so now you'll have a real uh, RF spectrum analyzer type of a picture that you can actually visualize your signal and you can actually see what's going on. All right, let me go and another thing, let me go to 538 megahertz. All right, and you'll see this is spike. This is spike that you'll see on my spectrum analyzer or RF analyzer app. It's actually being transmitted from my laptop. So if you can see it on your left hand side, uh, right here, I have my hack RF that is connected to a loop antenna that is transmitting a signal at 538 megahertz. Just to show you that indeed it is the transmission that I am transmitting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off this transmission and observe the peak that is there. It should go away. So here we go. There is a removal of peak. Now let me transmit that again. Let me turn off the transmission. Let me turn on the transmission. And so this is indeed uh, what how does an spectrum analyzer generally looks like. You have different frequency spectrum. And you can also go ahead and uh, change this frequency to let's say if you want to look at uh, 107 megahertz or something like that. All right, so let's just go here. Let's plug it in. Turn turn on modulation. That's your wideband. So now you'll have also a demodulation as well. So you can perform demodulation as well. So your phone can easily be turned in to a spectrum analyzer instantly if you have an Android phone and if you have your RTL SDR dongle handy. So I hope you like this small tutorial on how you can make a spectrum, a spectrum analyzer using software defined radio. And there are different functionalities you can work with. You can also connect your hack RF and things like that. You can also listen to the music. You will have different frequencies. Okay, let me just move this around. Let me tune into another channel. Okay, there is something. What about here? Here we go. So you, you'll have an, a spectrum analyzer that looks something like this. So I hope you like this small tutorial. Just let me just turn off the modulate demodulation. Let me just turn it off. I hope you like this. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.